This is a flip video about neutralization reactions. We can also call these titrations. That's another name for this. Okay, these are actual calculations that we're going to be doing. And if we look here, whenever we add an acid to a base, we know that we can neutralize it that way. We've learned this in lab safety. So here we have hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. How do we know what our products are going to be? Well, this is just a double replacement reaction. So this is back to the good old rainbow, right? So our H plus and our OH minus come together. So what's important to do is to identify your ions, H plus, Cl minus, sodium has Na plus, hydroxide is OH minus. And then swap them, right? So the H links up with the OH. So up here you would have had your H plus and your OH minus coming together to make water. And then over here you would have had your Na plus and your Cl minus coming together to make NaCl, which is salt. Remember, any ionic compound is salt. Um, this is just table salt. So again, just a double replacement reaction. The last thing you want to do is you want to make sure it's balanced. And in this one, um, I have everything balanced. So it's a one to one to one to one. In other words, when we say one to one to one to one, one mole of HCl needs one mole of sodium hydroxide to make my products, one mole of each product. So it's a one mole of NaOH for one mole of Na, uh, HCl. That's really important. Okay. Um, all right, so when we actually neutralize, let's make sure we write that down. Remember, an acid can neutralize a base, and a base can neutralize an acid. So what's actually happening in my beaker is seen here. I throw in my base, I throw in my acid. They dissociate into ions, right? They dissolve and they dissociate into ions. And now the H and the OH hook up positive and negative attract, swapping around, and the Na and the Cl are more attracted. So now you have a safe environment here. You have just water and salt, and water and salt are very safe. Okay. How about doing calculations? Okay. Well, in order to do these calculations, I'm going to introduce a simple way of doing titration calculations or neutralization calculations. And the simple way is seen here. MAVA is equal to MVVB. MBVB. The A stand for acids, the B stand for base. This reaction um, is, or this equation is only good when your moles of acid equal your moles of base. So if we go back to our first reaction we looked at, are our moles of acid equal to our moles of base? Yep, we had a one to one. So, so far this equation is good. If we don't have a one-to-one, -one, as we'll see later on, then we have to slightly adjust this in a very simple way. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at another reaction. How about this? I have H2SO4, sulfuric acid, and sodium hydroxide. If you remember, we said break them into their ions in order to swap them. H plus, SO4, 2 minus. Na plus OH minus. Make the rainbow and swap them. The H comes with the OH minus to make water, and the Na and the SO4. So I get Na2SO4 because Na plus and SO4 2 minus, you need two Na's to neutralize. Don't forget your cation is always written first. Then when you're done, go ahead and balance it. So if you notice, I've balanced out two Na's here with a big coefficient two. This two also helps balance out the two waters over here. So everything is balanced out. Make sure you do an inventory chart if you need to. Now, is this a one-to-one -one reaction? It's not. For every one mole of H2SO4, I need two moles of NaOH. So this is a one-to-two ratio. So if you remember, we said you can use this equation only if you have a one-to-one -one or a 2 to 2, or in other words, the same moles of acid as the same moles of base. So can I use this equation with my other reaction? Well, not exactly. I have to modify it. 
And so in order to modify it, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take whatever is the more, right, amount. So I have two of these and just modify it and say that I'm going to need twice as much of the other. Okay, so we'll look at that a little bit later. So let's take a look at our equation seen here. And that equation is, or this uh, a problem is, let's say you have... Um, you have 0.01 liters of an unknown concentration of HCl, and you add it to, in other words, we can also say the word butitrate it with, so that's something new for us to say right now, we'll learn more about titrating and titration. You titrate it with, in other words, you add it to a 0 .020 liter of a 1.0 molar NaOH. What's the concentration of your HCl. I'm going to write it like that, concentration. In other words, the concentration of the H plus. Okay? Okay, so what's the concentration? Now, here's our problem. And so what's important to do is to kind of remember what you have and list it out. So we can bring back my equation right here. And in this equation, remember we said you can use this if you have a one-to-one -one ratio. So first of all, the important thing is to write a balanced equation. So let's write a balanced equation. We said we have HCl and NaOH. Okay, HCl and NaOH. Remember, we just talked about this a second ago. Break everything into their ions, right? Make the rainbow, swap them up. H plus and OH come together to make HOH plus NA and CL, cation goes first, and balance the equation. Well, it's balanced. Next, let's figure out how much of all the stuff we have and what's missing. So let's go back to our problem. I have 0 0.01 liters of an unknown concentration of HCl. So we'll put that here, 0 0.01 liters. Let's always make sure that we're using liters and not milliliters. If you have to convert, please do so. This is important. There's a thousand milliliters and one liter. So this is under my HCl, right? So this is my volume of my acid. Okay? Let's keep reading. I have an unknown concentration of my acid. So my concentration, which is big M, molarity of my acid, is unknown. We'll make that X. Okay? Now moving on to my base, I'm going to titrate it, in other words, add it to 0 0.020 liters. So my base, over here is my base, um, I have a volume of a base and a molarity of a base. Let's go back and look at that, 0 0.020 liters, 0 0.020 liters, okay, remember keep it in liters of a 1.0 molar. There's the concentration of the base. 1.0 molar. Okay, so here's my base stuff, here's my acid stuff. Well clearly I see I'm solving for the molarity of the acid. Remember molarity measures concentration. Moles of solute over liters. Except we're not talking about moles of, of any solute, we're talking about moles of the H pluses, right? And we're talking about moles of the Na plus. So we're talking, or the OH minus, I'm sorry, of the OH minus. So we're looking to see how much of the H plus and the OH are needed to neutralize each other, okay? So I need to figure out then, if I'm going to titrate these, in other words, add them together, how many of the H pluses and OH minuses am I going to need? Remember our picture, these are gonna go in the beaker together, and you're going to need one to one, right? Every time these come together, you're gonna to need one to one. So we have to figure out then, if we know all our stuff about our sodium hydroxide, 
how much of the HCl is going to need to neutralize it. That means every single H plus has to match up with an OH minus. That's what we want, a clean match. So let's begin this problem. Okay. We've got MA, VA equals MB, VB. Okay, I know my MA is X, my VA is 0 0.01 liters, as we said a second ago, just filling in my information. My MB is 1.0, my VB is 0 0.020 liters. And again, we can use this generic equation because we have a one-to-one -one ratio with our moles originally. So no modifications needed. So this is easy and all I have to do is solve for x. Okay. Well my liters cancels out my liters <clears throat> and all I have to do is plug this in my calculator. 1.0 times 0 0.020 divided by 0 0.01. So it's a good time to take out your calculator. And don't forget sig figs. There's two sig figs here. Leading zeros are never sig